Good early morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Magic Kingdom. We have a very exciting video for you today. Today we are going to be attempting the tourist for a day challenge. We are going to be putting ourselves in the shoes of a tourist who is basically here for a once in a lifetime visit. And what we're going to be attempting to do is not only are we going to attempt to do every single ride here at the Magic Kingdom, but we are also going to be attempting to fit in all the shows, parades, fireworks, and even a sit-down restaurant as well. So it is going to be a very jam-packed fill day, and the goal is to get everything done before the park closes at 11. So right around 10 o'clock is our target goal to get everything done. That way we give ourselves a little bit of time to do any re-rise we might want to do. It's going to be a very long video, guys. I hope you guys are excited, because I know I am. Let's head on inside the park. So what we're going to do here is list all the requirements to complete the Tourist for a Day Challenge. You are not allowed to participate in early park entry. If you're staying at an on-site resort hotel on Disney property, you are not allowed to start early and you cannot participate in early park entry before the park officially opens to all guests. You are also not allowed to participate in the extra magic hours in the evening. You must start in front of the castle. You must also watch the welcome show in its entirety. If you are filming a vlog, you must document the beginning, something in the middle, and the very end from the same location. You must ride every single ride in the park. This includes Magic Carpets of Aladdin, Jungle Cruise, Pirates of the Caribbean, Splash Mountain, Big Thunder Mountain, Liberty Square Riverboat, The Haunted Mansion, It's a Small World, Peter Pan's Flight, Prince Charming's Regal Carousel, Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, Ariel's Undersea Adventure, The Mad Tea Party, Dumbo, The Barnstormer, Tomorrowland Speedway, Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin, Tomorrowland People Mover, Astro Orbiter, and Space Mountain. You must also do one show type attraction. This could include Enchanted Tiki Room, Country Bear Jamboree, Mickey's Philhar Magic, Enchanted Tales with Belle, Carousel of Progress. You may use Genie Plus to help, and it is strongly encouraged. You must watch Festival of Fantasy in its entirety. If you are filming a vlog, you must document the beginning, middle, and end from the same location. You must also watch Mickey's Magical Friendship Fair in its entirety. Same documentation rules apply. You must watch Enchantment in its entirety. However, this fireworks show must be viewed from either Main Street USA or somewhere in the hub. If you are filming a vlog, you must have a clear view of the fireworks from the beginning, middle, and end. You do not have to have a clear view of the castle, but you must document the fireworks from either the hub or Main Street USA. You must max out Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. If you have several people in your group, one person in your ride vehicle must max out the ride. If you do not max out the ride and document yourself in the ride vehicle with a max score, you must somehow find a way to ride again and try again. You must eat at a sit-down restaurant for either lunch or dinner. This could include restaurants like Skipper Canteen, Be Our Guest, Cinderella's Royal Table, The Diamond Horseshoe, or Liberty Tree Tavern. Throughout the day, you must document each attraction that you complete, and you must document the time you get on and get off. And you must finish all of this before park close on your designated day. We are here in the park bright and early. It is currently 8.30 right now, and the park opens at 9. Everybody is so excited to get their day started. Everyone's getting their magical pictures in front of the train station with the world's most magical celebration sign. Oh my gosh, I am very excited for just a full day of Disney goodness. Now here's some further context on today's adventure. We are putting ourselves in the shoes of a tourist here on a once in a lifetime vacation. Now to save a little bit of money, we are picturing ourselves staying off site at a non-Disney resort hotel. So we do not get access to early park entry. With that money that we did save by staying off property, we are enlisting the help of Genie Plus today. So Genie is hopefully going to be on our side today and help us complete every single ride and attraction here at the Magic Kingdom in one day. Of course, no Disney vacation is going to be absolutely perfect, so to keep
keep up with the realism of everything, we decided to wait a whole minute after 7 a.m. to go ahead and book our first Lightning Lane reservation. The goal for today is to rope drop the Jungle Cruise because the Jungle Cruise is an attraction where the Lightning Lanes go relatively quickly early in the morning. And then from Jungle Cruise, we're going to be attempting some of the other attractions over there in the immediate Adventureland area. Our first Lightning Lane that we originally wanted was for Peter Pan's flight because we know that that Lightning Lane goes relatively quickly as well. Because we decided to wait a full minute after the Lightning Lanes dropped at 7 a.m., the first and earliest reservation that we could get for Peter Pan's flight for Lightning Lane was at 3.30, so whew, yeah, those Lightning Lanes go rather quickly, so just be prepared for that. And you guys can see right here, early entry for guests of participating hotels. That does not apply to us, so we are going to keep on moving. Current time now is 8.45 in the morning, about 15 minutes until all the lands of the Magic Kingdom open up. And this is the mass of people waiting to head on into Adventureland. Now a lot of these folks who are probably in line behind me are probably people who have already been here before and are not really first timers. We're going to be making our way to Cinderella's Castle to check out the opening ceremony of the day. It's always a really fun thing to see and I highly encourage encourage anyone who's never been here before to check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, the Tourist for a Day Challenge has officially begun. So at 9 a.m. the park officially opened to all guests and that is when regular day guests like myself are able to grab an individual return time for individual lightning lanes like Seven Doors Mine Train. The only thing that is left, 9 p.m. and 10 p.m. That is insane. 9.01 a.m., all the lightning lanes for Seven Doors Mine Train are gone. Our first attraction of the day is going to be the world famous Jungle Cruise. We have gotten in line at about 9.03. Heading on into the main queue for Jungle Cruise, it is estimated at a 45 minute wait. I don't think that is entirely accurate for the moment. But we'll see. The line is moving pretty fast, so I'm thinking we're going to be on board in the next 10 minutes or so, if that. On second thought, maybe 15. The standby line was moving pretty consistently for a while there, but we are starting to see the lightning lane queue back up a little bit, so we're starting to find ourselves standing in one spot for quite a while. All right, 9.38, and we are finally on the boat. It's a couple of baby elephants. Baby, they're a whole move. Ha, 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 ha. Getting off the Jungle Cruise at 9.51. Now I can see you guys typing away in the comment section below. Adrian, how come you didn't rope drop more popular attraction like Seven Doors Mine Train or Peter Pan's Flight? Well, Seven Doors Mine Train and Peter Pan's Flight are on the list of attractions that are open exclusively for early entry guests. So if I had rope dropped those attractions, there would have already been a line out the door for those attractions. So I would have rather have spent my time waiting in a shorter line, theoretically, for a ride that didn't already have a really long line. Does that make sense? That's my thought process behind it. And because my first lightning lane is for Peter Pan's flight at 3.30 in the afternoon, I'm not able to make another lightning lane reservation until at least 11 a.m. So hopefully we have plenty of options when that time rolls around. All right, 45 minute wait for Pirates of the Caribbean. Getting in line at 9.54. I know the camera never wants to focus. There you go, 9.54. Getting in line, estimated 45 minute wait. Let's see what happens. All right, current time is 10.19, which means we only waited about 22 minutes, not bad. Oh, 
Alrighty, current time is 10.31 in the afternoon. So, the plan is to do one of the two mountains that are over here in Frontierland. If I look on the My Disney Experience app, Thunder Mountain is currently at a 65 minute wait with a lightning lane return time of 2.50. And then we scroll all the way down to Splash Mountain and that is a 50 minute wait with a lightning lane return time of 12.50. Now I'm not gonna be able to actually book a return time for another 30 minutes or so. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop in line for Big Thunder Mountain and keep an eye on the time. When 11 o'clock rolls around, I'll go ahead and get a return time for a Splash Mountain at 12.50. All right, we are hopping in line for Big Thunder Mountain. Currently a 65 minute wait. Current time, 10.32. Now my thought process for getting a lightning lane for Splash Mountain rather than Thunder Mountain is because Thunder Mountain has a much higher capacity. They have two stations and each train can hold a lot of people. So I expect the line to move rather quickly and rather consistently as compared to Splash Mountain which doesn't hold that many people at a time. That makes sense? I hope it does. I will say it is an absolutely gorgeous day today. Holy crap. It is insanely gorgeous. All right, let's go ahead and start looking for our next lightning lane. We're approaching 11 o'clock, and I am thinking, look at that, Space Mountain's already at four o'clock. I'm thinking Splash Mountain, maybe? Or, hmm, I don't know. Should I do Space? I think Space. Yeah, let's go ahead and do Space, because I have a feeling that we'll get lucky with Splash Mountain later on. We're waiting on 11 o'clock right now. That's 11, we're gonna go ahead and click that. It's loading, 4.20, and there you go. Reservation confirmed, 4.20 for Space Mountain. Hail Snoop Dogg. The next time we will be able to book another reservation is at 1 p.m. All right, current time is 11.08. We got in line at 10.30, just over 30 minutes. Not bad. So the time is now 11.15 in the morning and now is the time of day where you need to make a choice. You need to decide whether or not you are going to try and catch the 12 o'clock parade or the three o'clock parade. For me personally, I'm gonna go ahead and try and catch the three o'clock parade only because Splash Mountain is currently at a 55 minute wait and I wanna go ahead and hop in line for that and get that done and out of the way now before the wait time jumps back up a little bit later. But before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and have a quick pee break. All right, next ride of the day, Splash Mountain, currently estimated at a 55 minute wait and the current time right now is 11.18. We're gonna go ahead and start a timer Let's go ahead and do that and start. And take a look at that guys, an individual lightning lane popped up for Seven Doors Mine Train at 510. It was only $12, which you know, we saved money by staying off property, so that's my thought process with this. Hot dog, not bad. All right, we are next up to board. Current wait time, 40 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and stop that. We were estimated 55. Shaved off a whole 15 minutes, not bad at all. Come on, take a look at that. Now breathe fire, breathe fire right now. Do it, come on, do it. No, breathe fire. Dang it! Current time is 12.15 and we have successfully managed to get every major attraction on this end of the park completed. Not bad at all and that's without any lightning lanes period. I still haven't used a single lightning lane which 
you know, really, really sucks. <laughs> but, you know, it'll all pay off in the afternoon when all my lightning lanes start to roll around. And in about 45 minutes, we'll be able to book another lightning lane. In about 20 minutes or so, I have a lunch reservation at Skipper Canteen, which is a sit-down restaurant in Adventureland. I've never eaten there before, so I'm very excited to try that. Let's go ahead and head on over there. I was going to see if I could sneak on Magic Carpets of Aladdin before my Skipper Canteen reservation. However, I don't think this line is going to be 20 minutes long. It might be a little bit longer, plus the right time. I really don't want to miss my reservation, so we'll come back to this. All right, guys, we're going to be having lunch inside Skipper Canteen. That review is going to be posted in a separate video, so I'll see you guys when I'm done. Alrighty, so we're coming up on 1 o'clock, which is when we are able to make our next lightning lane. We're going to go ahead over to the tip board, and we're going to see what we got. Let's let your Space Ranger spin at 3.05, which, by the way, current time is going to be 1 o'clock. On a mansion, 8 p.m. Good Lord. It's only a 35-minute wait, though, which is not too terrible. We already got our return time for Seven Doors. We got Space Mountain. We already did Splash Mountain. So, not bad at all. Let's go ahead and see what's, like, the next available. So, something around 1 o'clock. Dapper Dan's, we don't need to do that. Enchantment, Festival of Fantasy. You know, since we have it, we might as well do it. That way we can go ahead and immediately book another lightning lane as soon as we're done. So let's go ahead and get a lightning lane for Philhar Magic. And as soon as we're done here, go ahead and head on over to Fantasyland. All right, so we just got done eating at Skipper Canteen. I'll have all my thoughts and opinions on that restaurant in a separate video. So make sure you guys are subscribed so that way you don't miss that video whenever it comes out in the very near future. But overall, it was okay. It was okay. We just missed out on Mickey's Royal Friendship Fair. We'll be sure to catch up with that show a little bit later. I'm sorry, it's Mickey's Magical Friendship Fair now. Time to head on inside Mickey's Philhar Magic. Current wait time, 20 minutes, but we do have a lightning lane. You know, I have never once used a fast pass for this ride before, so I've never been in this room. Never. So, this is the first for me. Go ahead and claim our glaces. Yeah. Okay, now that we have scanned in for our lightning lane at Philhar Magic, let's go ahead and look for another lightning lane. We have Buzz Lightyear at 315. It's currently 137 right now. So let's see if there is anything that is relatively close to 1 o'clock. We have, that, that's a show time for 215. We have a 230 for Festival of Fantasy. We don't need that. 305, 440, 10 o'clock. We got 250, 350, 150 for the next cavalcade. Let's see, I guess maybe um, Dumbo? Yeah, let's go ahead and do Dumbo. And continue. Oh, it even says, oh, that's 240. Interesting. Looking at the show times on the My Disney Experience app, it looks like the next Mickey's Magical Friendship Fair is at 2.15. So as soon as we're done here, in theory, we should have more than enough time to make it to the front of the castle to watch the show. <laughs> You know, there are a lot of things at Disneyland over in California that I, as a Floridian, am very jealous that you guys have. Fantasmic's not one of them. <laughs> I feel bad for you Californians out there because your Fantasmic is 
laughably bad. Now that we're done with PhilharMagic as part of our Tourist for a Day challenge, it requires us to see a couple shows. So we're going to make our way back to the front of the castle to watch Mickey's Magical Friendship Fair. to the Magical Friendship Fair! I really can't believe I've been here since rope drop and this is my first time setting foot in this half of the park. Oh Lord. All right, some quick updates as to where we're at right now. We had Mickey's Magical Friendship Fair at 2.15. That ended at 2.40. At three o'clock we had the parade. By the time the parade started in my area, it was about 3.10. And it is currently, right now, it's currently 3.32. And my fast pass, Lightning Lane, for Dumbo ends at 3.40. So we have about 10 minutes to get over there and use that Lightning Lane. I know things haven't been very eventful so far in this first half of the day, but the day is about halfway over. We have until 11 o'clock close to get everything we want done. I think as the afternoon slash evening progresses, we will have a much easier time banging out rides because we've gotten a lot of the big rides done so far with Lightning Lanes for the rest of them. 
later on. So I'm hopeful that things will start picking up pace really quickly, but let's head on over to Dumbo. I'm also really happy that we got the parade and the stage show done. Those were the two big ones that I really wanted to get today. The only other thing as far as entertainment we have left to worry about is the fireworks, and that's not until nine o'clock, so we have a lot of time. Made it with two minutes to spare. All right, let's go ahead and see what we can do next with our lightning lanes. Buzz Lightyear, we got a 605. Current time is 344. Let's try and find something around four o'clock. We have a five o'clock for Barnstormer. We already did Thunder Mountain, so we don't need to do that. Uh, Tomorrowland Speedway at 425. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We're already in the area. Wait, what the heck? It jumped up to 515. See, that's the thing that makes me upset. It says one thing and then you click it and it jumps to another. What the heck? All right, so the return times for Genie were getting all kinds of jacked up, so I just had to go ahead and settle with 550 for the Speedway. I think I've mentioned in previous videos how much I don't really like spinny rides, and Dumbo goes a lot faster than you think it does. So, uh, I'm just kind of, just kind of breathing in and out and relaxing, just relaxing. But this ride is nothing compared to what we have to do later, which is Astro Orbiter. Oh, jeez. I am not looking forward to that. That ride is terrifying. All right, so the current time is now 3.50. We just got off of Dumbo. Now it is time to head on over to Peter Pan's flight for our next Lightning Lane return time. Little pro tip for you guys. If you guys are looking to buy a beverage, like a bottle of water, soda, something, don't go to a food and beverage cart. Go to a merchandise location. That way you can get your AP discount on it if it applies to you. Hello. Pixie dust, yay! And off we go. is 4.08 p.m. We just got off of Peter Pan's flight. Our next lightning lane is at 4.20 over at Space Mountain. So let's go ahead and head on over there. Well, I was going to try and kill a little bit of time by getting on the Mad Tea Party. It says it's a 20 minute wait, but uh, the line is out the door. So we're going to pass on that for now. Ah, finally, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Tomorrowland. Current wait time for Space Mountain is a 65 minute wait. I'm super lucky I got a relatively early lightning lane. Remember when Disney put tents here for like $500? That was fun. Just got off of Space Mountain. Current time is 4.40 in the afternoon. Our next Lightning Lane reservation isn't until 5.10, so we do have a little bit of time to kill. Let's go ahead, stand in line for the People Mover, and then you guys let me know in the comment section below, is Carousel of Progress a ride or a show? It can't be both. It can only be one or the other. You guys need to settle that debate down in the comment section below. All right, I put the question out on Twitter. You guys know what to do. Ah, crap, look at that, guys. Astro Orbiter isn't a long way to at all. Oh no. All right, 10 minutes. Not bad at all. All right, guys, here is another Tron construction update. A lot more of the canopy has been put on and things are coming along real nicely. You can see they've already started the final bits and pieces of canopy to go up over this section over here. We can see all the concrete work going in over here. I don't know if there's gonna be a pathway going underneath 
not entirely sure, but we can see the pathway going up and leading to the attraction. And these walls over here are where the Walt Disney World Railroad is going to be coming this way to go through Tomorrowland. Did you take a spin around the planet and ascend to otherworldly heights? All right, we might as well. The line isn't very long at all. Let's go. I'm getting in line 505. You know, I may hate this attraction and be absolutely terrified right now, but at least the views are nice. All right, current time 520. I'm getting into a rocket. <laughs> In my opinion, the most unforgiving ride for fat people in the park. Good God, it is a squeeze. The things I do for a video. The things that I do for a flipping video. You guys who have been around here for a while, you know how much I hate this ride. It's terrifying. And the problem is, you have no choice but to go all the way up. Because if you hang down low, then you feel like you're gonna fall out. It sucks. This ride's no fun. This ride is no fun. But for the sake of the video, just to say I did it. Back up, three, two, one, blast off. <laughs> I gotta hold it up. <laughs> This is not fun. This is not fun. We're very high. This is not fun. And and then we lean at an angle. We're leaning over. <sighs> at least the views are nice. At least the views are nice. But oh my god. Okay, this is as high as we go. And we're just we're we're, we're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. At least you guys are enjoying this. <laughs> oh my god. I can't. I think what I hate more is the going down part because you maintain your speed and you feel like you're gonna fly out. And it is absolutely terrifying. Yeah, this is what I don't like. This is what I don't like. This is what I don't like. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Slow down. Any, any minute now. Come on. Slow down. <sighs> Welcome back, Pod. Please back down the last time of your rocket. Thank you. You can put me on roller coasters all day, every day, but this, mm mm, no. Mm, no. Uh, thank the maker. Feet firmly back on the ground. Uh, now for something a bit more family friendly. Thank you. That was a whole $12. <laughs> but the benefit is skipping a 95 minute wait. Not that I think it's truly 95 minutes, it's probably about an hour maybe 70 minutes but yeah i don't want to deal with that you know i'm surprised seven doors mine train is still rocking the plexiglass in the queue all right we are next to board current time is 5 37 i know it's difficult to see but i promise you it says 5 37. Last turn is always the best part of the ride. All right, as the night progresses, lightning lanes are becoming harder and harder to come by. Our next one is for Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin at 8 o'clock. But first, we have a lightning lane return time at 5.50 at the Tomorrowland Speedway. We don't necessarily need to go there right now, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ride a pony. Okay, I need a horse that's low to the ground. My noble steed. Now, let me just not rip my pants trying to get on this thing. Don't throw me off, okay? I'm very fragile. You know, is there something weird about a fully grown man riding a carousel by himself? Maybe. Do I have any regrets? Not at all.
time for our next lightning lane, the Tomorrowland Speedway, current time, 6.08 p.m. Take a look at Tron, guys. It looks so good. It is coming along real well. I cannot wait for this thing to open. Just got off of the Tomorrowland Speedway. Current time is 624. Let's go ahead and do a roll call check and see what we have left to do. We have Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. We already have our return time booked for that. Haunted Mansion, we still need to do. That is currently at a 40 minute wait. We may head over there right now. Already got Seven Doors Mine Train. We did Space, we did Splash, we did Astro. Barnstormer, we still need to do. We did Big Thunder Mountain. We don't care about Country Bear Jamboree. Those are some shows. That's the Fireworks. We did the Parade. We did Dumbo. Hall of Presidents, we don't care about. It's a small world. We still need to do that. That's a 35 minute wait. Actually, might do that one first. Jungle Cruise, we took care of that one. The Riverboat, nah, I don't really count that. Mad Tea Party, we still need to do that one. Good Lord, we still have a lot to do. That's a 20 minute wait. Magic Carpets of Aladdin, still got to do that one. Oh Lord. Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Why are there so many rides I still haven't done yet? Oh my God. Monsters Inc. Laugh Floor, we don't care about that. Peter Pan's Flight, we did. Pirates of the Caribbean, we did. We did the Carousel. We're not meeting princesses. The Speedway we just got off of. We did the People Mover. We still have to do a Little Mermaid. Oh my God, I am worried, guys. Carousel of Progress, uh, debatable, and then Tiki Room. So, oh my Lord. We still have quite a bit to do. Okay, so what I did to organize myself a little bit is I edited my top picks. You can go ahead and edit them over here. And I basically put down all the attractions that I haven't done yet. So Barnstormer, Buzz Lightyear, Haunted Mansion, Small World, Tea Party, Aladdin, Winnie the Pooh and Little Mermaid and Carousel of Progress, which is, again, still debatable. So my next lightning lane isn't until eight o'clock, so we have about an hour and a half to kill before then. So let's go ahead, head on over to It's a Small World, take care of that, and then do Haunted Mansion. I do believe this is my third piece stop of the day. All right, only because I know some of you guys are gonna give me crap in the comments section. The riverboat's arrived, the riverboat's arrived. Fine, I'll do it. Look at how slow this boat is going. I swear to God, if this thing screws me over and I run out of time and don't finish everything because of this, I'm gonna be mad. I have literally never been on this boat before. Not even kidding. And guess what? I am coming over here and just sitting down. I'm just ridiculously happy that the weather is absolutely gorgeous right now. It's 73 degrees in Orlando right now, zero humidity, there's a light breeze. Ugh. Chef's kiss, it is a gorgeous night. Also, I'm 22,000 steps into the day, so I deserve to sit down. Also, I'm very short. My feet don't touch the ground. All right, we're finally moving. It is seven o'clock on the dot. Let's see how long this ride takes. the coolest part of my college program when I was working over here in Frontierland was having a movie night over here in Fort Langhorn. They set up a movie screen in there, they grilled up hot dogs and they had chips for us and everything and it was late at night, it was like midnight. We took a boat out here and we landed and we went in there. It was just a whole big party just for college program kids in Frontierland. It was amazing. <laughs> Another fun fact is that on top of Aunt Polly's, there's a really boring and generic looking office space up there. I did some training up there before. Not pleasant. Very dingy. And let's see, total ride time, 20 minutes. Still have a little while before our next lightning lane, so might as well hop in line for the Haunted Mansion. Currently, 45 minute wait. I'm gonna go ahead and start the timer right now. All right, bruh, we're already inside the mansion going into the stretching room. It's only been 11 minutes. 
What the heck? Is this haunted room actually stretching? Or is it your imagination? Hmm? By the way, I never showed you guys. We're like midway through the ride and it was 25 minutes. So we'll just go ahead and put it at 20 minutes. Good God. All right, just got off the Haunted Mansion. We are two minutes until eight o'clock. My Lightning Lane reservation for Buzz Lightyear starts at eight o'clock. I'm gonna go ahead and run over there now and get that out of the way so that way I have enough time to go and get a spot for the fireworks. Once the fireworks are done, I have a really good feeling that we're gonna be able to get the rest of our rides done to finish off the day. I think so. Small World is the ride that I'm worried about the most. It's a 25 minute wait right now and I just hope to God that it stays low throughout the night. Guys, I'm not even kidding. It is going to be close. It's gonna be real close because I still have after Buzz Lightyear, I have Barnstormer, Small World, Mad Tea Party, Magic Carpets of Aladdin, Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, Undersea, Journey of the Little Mermaid. I have those rides and that's it. It's gonna be close. Also, in case any of you guys are like, what about Carousel of Progress? Well, check Twitter. Y'all say it's a show, not a ride. I ain't doing it. And what's crazy to me is that I have not wasted any time at all today. From the time ropes dropped, I have been go, go, go. I haven't really sat down in wasted time. And I don't know if you guys count sitting down at Skipper Canteen to have lunch as wasting time, because that's part of the challenge. That is part of the challenge. So I don't count that as wasting time. Other than that, go, go, go. And we're barely making it. Oh, Lord. All right, next up, Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. That is my next lightning lane. It says it's only a 15 minute now, but uh, skipping those 15 minutes, I will take it. All right, I just snagged the new lightning lane for It's a Small World at 940. I think we can do this, guys. Another part of the challenge I forgot to mention, you must max out Buzz Lightyear in order to complete it. <laughs> this side isn't maxed out, but that side is. All right, current time is 8.15. Fireworks are at nine o'clock. We're gonna run on over to the Mad Tea Party, see what the wait time is, and guesstimate if we can get on with enough time to get back onto Main Street to watch the fireworks. Also, yes, I know I walked right by the Mad Tea Party earlier on my way to Buzz Lightyear. I should have ridden it earlier, I know. All right, it says it's a 15 minute wait. It's currently 8.18 right now. Let's hop in line. Oh, it's not fat friendly. I cannot imagine a cup full of full-grown adults. Oh. All right, it is 8.28, not even 8.30 yet, so I think we're good. Light spinning, light spinning. Only a little spin, nothing too crazy. Have I mentioned that I don't like spinning? Yeah, I'm just doing this for the video. <laughs> I didn't even spin at that time. That was momentum. <laughs> that was momentum. Okay, enough spinning. We're just gonna ride it out. This thing will not stop spinning. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Why are you spinning? Why are you spinning? I'm not even touching you. Why? Why do you do the things that you do? What is happening? Stop! All right, now that we got Mad Tea Party out of the way, I can relax just a little bit. Let's go ahead and head on over to our fireworks spot because that's part of the challenge. You have to watch the fireworks in front of the castle. Doesn't matter where in front of the castle, as long as you are in front of the castle, in the hub, or on Main Street. You can't be in one of the lands, so you can't be on the Tomorrowland Bridge or the Adventureland Bridge. You can't be on a bridge. You have to be either in the hub or on Main Street in front of the castle. So you guys might think, hey, I can watch the fireworks from this area over here. Nope, uh-uh. You have to be on Main Street or the hub. Oh my sweet baby Jesus. This is definitely a difficult part of the challenge is finding a spot for you and or your family. All right, so here is the game plan. Fireworks start at nine o'clock. It's currently 8.48. By the time that they're done, it's gonna be about 9.20. By the time I get to Magic Carpets of Aladdin, it'll be now we're at about 9.30 or so. And then I already did Mad Tea Party. We gotta do Small World, Barnstormer, and Under the Sea.
All right, it is currently 9.16. If I can make it to Magic Carpets of Aladdin before 9.30, I will count that as a win because, dang, I have a sea of people to go through. Holy crap, I got through that crowd a lot easier than I thought I would. Oh my god, guys, I think this is doable. I think it's doable. I just looked at the app and everything that I need to get done tonight is a five minute wait. So hopefully it stays that way throughout the remainder of the night. <sighs> I'm excited, guys. I think it's gonna happen. Yep, it looks like Magic Carpets is a walk-on. I'll take it. I still gotta walk through the whole dang queue. What the heck? Okay, this thing is only slightly terrifying. I just wanna go up. Just, just get me up and out of range of whatever is going to try and get me wet. This is a lot higher than Dumbo. Is this a lot higher than Dumbo? Oh, there's that spitting camel. Yeah, you wanna stay away from that. Just get me out of range of that and I will be fine. I still don't like the heights, but you know what? It's fine. Now, you see, if I was riding this thing with Coda, she'd be aiming for the camel. She'd put us on camel level to intentionally get us wet. And you guys cannot tell me otherwise. I almost got nailed by that stupid camel on re-entry. All right, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's 927 right now. Barely, you can see it. 927 right now. We're gonna run on over to Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, do that, and then try to hop on the Barnstormer. From the Barnstormer, do a Little Mermaid, and then final ride of the night will be It's a Small World, because that lightning lane ends at 10.30. <sighs> I'm hustling guys, I'm hustling. The biggest struggle that I have right now is getting stuck behind people who are going really slow. You guys know the feeling. All right, many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. It says 20 minutes, got no choice, let's go. Current time, 9.33, have an hour and a half. Not gonna lie, getting a little bit nervous. If we get on this attraction at or around 10 o'clock, I think we'll be okay because everything else is five minutes according to the app, so fingers crossed, we'll see. But this is the wild card here. All right, 9.54, we got on the ride, just before 10 o'clock. Hey, things are looking good, guys. Things are looking real good. All right, current time, 9.58. We have three more rides left. We have Barnstormer, Ariel, and Small World, and then that's it, we're done. We have an hour to do all three. Let's get it done. Oh, sweet baby Jesus, please let that five minute wait time on the app be true. Oh man, it says 15. Oh gosh, hopefully it's less than that. I want every single row of this roller coaster to be filled. It looks like they're running two trains, so that's good. Two train ops is always good to see. So I'm hoping that we're not waiting more than 15 minutes. Got in line at 10.02. I kind of wish I rode Barnstormer during the day so that way we can get a good look at Tron over here. Looks really good. I'm assuming that these are restrooms. I'm assuming that these are restrooms, and I know it's really hard to see, but there's a tunnel right here. That's where the train's gonna go through from Fantasyland. All right, the most intense ride in the park. Okay, here we go, woohoo! All right, two rides left. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. Current time is 11.13 in the evening. Think we're gonna make it. I tell you guys what, I'm getting a little tired of speed walking. I'm getting a little tired of it. We're almost done, though. Heading on into the Little Mermaid. Five minute wait. Current time, 10.14. It's there, I promise. Oh, come on, I can't catch a break. This is like the third time it's stopped since I like got to the load platform. I mean, technically not stopped, we're just crawling. But I swear to God, if I don't make this because of this freaking ride, I'm gonna be livid. I got 20. Uh, Ariel, your mouth needs a little work. Bro, we stopped again. We're right there, we're so close. The ending is right there. This is literally the end of the ride. Let me out! Just under 30 minutes until park close and only one ride left. It's right there. 
It's right there. The ending is nigh. It's a small world. The last and final ride of the night. And with this ride, we have completed the tourist for a day challenge. And take a look at that, guys. It is 100% a walk on. Current time, 10.37. This hula girl in the middle is doing her best. Thirty-one thousand steps later, we are done at the Magic Kingdom and heading on towards the front of the park. I just want to take a second to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. You guys have no idea how much it means to me that you guys watched all the way through. If you guys did make it to the very end of the video, then please leave a comment down below with the word challenge in it. So that way I know you guys made it all the way until the very end. But this was absolutely insane. This was such an insane day. It was a very magical day. And I cannot wait to attempt another challenge like this in the future. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to leave a like. It greatly helps out the channel. And if you are new around here and you want to see more videos like this in the future, then please consider subscribing to the channel. If you guys want to support the channel any further, our Patreon link is down in the description below. Just $3 a month can greatly help support the channel and keep us going. Without your generous support, this video today would not have been possible. For real. But anyways guys, I hope you are all having a wonderful day, morning, afternoon, evening, and I'll see you guys in the next video.